Welcome back to AM Northwest. You know, there is a lot going on in the skies right now. Here to share what it all means for us, we welcome back the author of Astrology for Real Relationships, Jessica Lanyato. Good to have you back again, Jessica. Great to see you. Great to see you. Thanks for having me back. You bet. It's always so fun. All right, let's get right into it. Metro, uh, Mercury retrograde uh, Sunday, the August the 4th, So, th but through the whole month, really. Yeah, there's... Okay, so this Mercury retrograde, and for those who don't really know what Mercury retrograde is, but I'm sure have heard about it, Mercury is a planet and it appears to move backwards through the sky a couple few times a year. We call it Mercury retrograde. And this is when communication goes wonky technology goes wonky. It's like not a great time to buy new technology or sign contracts and other important communications can get fuddled. And so as an astrologer, I'm always encouraging people to follow the rule of Rees. Reflect, review, reassess. Oh. And you, can, you can apply a lot more rewords. But yeah. this Mercury retrograde will be affecting us August 4th through the 28th. Um, and, and so it's going to be an important time to, you know, sit with information before you jump to conclusions, make sure you're understanding things correctly. And also, uh, if you have to sign a contract or make a big decision to triple check, whatever oh, it is. Oh, yes. Yeah. Dot the I's, yeah. cross the T's, make sure. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, and then you've got the next full moon that's on the August 19th. What yes. do you expect from there? A lot should be going on on that day. Yes, so we have a full moon in Aquarius on the 19th of August, which will be a really big astrological event. And I, my guess is that everyone's going to notice because this particular uh, full moon includes a, something called a T-square to Uranus. So basically what we can expect is the unexpected. Mercury will still be retrograde, and so we are likely to have communication or technology issues. But I would expect big news to be broken on that date or wow. around that, but especially on that date. And for unexpected things to occur. And big unexpected things to occur because this full moon also uh, involves a T-square to Jupiter. So we are going to be on a personal level um, assessing our relationships, the things that are important to us, perhaps even our finances, and then on more of a social level, the same things, you know, what's important to us, our economy. Um, and again, we can expect the unexpected and big shakeups this full moon. Wow, I just can't wait for that. And it's going to impact everybody because it's not just yes. like whatever sign, like now now is Leo time, right? Right now we're yes. in Leo. So yes. let's talk about those. Yeah, let's talk about Leos if you don't mind for a second then. What can we what, expect? We should always talk about Leos. Yeah, That's I'm a Leo, so I brought thing. that up. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So the full moon um, is a full moon in Aquarius, which means that the sun is in Leo mm -hmm. and the moon is in Aquarius. And the new moon that we have on the fourth, which I didn't mention, but probably should, is when the sun and moon are both in Leo. And so we're in a very Leo time. And what this means for Leos, but also in a different way to all the fixed signs. So the fixed signs are Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio, is that this is a time to get really clear about who you are and to make sure that the things that are the most important to you are also the things that are getting your energy and attention and passion. Because a lot of times we end up frittering away our energy and focusing it uh, in the direction of what actually is not that important yeah, to us. Yeah, yeah. And so whenever we're in a solar season, so you're a Leo, we're in your solar season, we're in Leo season, it's an invitation to get kind of better connected and intentional about what's important to you, because this can be a really meaningful reset of your energies. Yeah, wow. And in particular, this full moon is going to be, uh, again, kicking up the unexpected. So being open and adaptable is easier when you're, you know, in alignment with yourself, when you know what's important to you and you're oriented in that direction. Now, I have a note here about uh, the U.S. being in Pluto since, uh, Pluto returns since 2 22, 22. But, yeah. And that only happens, what, once every... Once every... 
250 years. Okay. So this is our first, because we're a baby nation, this is our first Pluto return. And a Pluto return um, of a nation is always a really big deal. It is often associated with the fall of an empire. It is associated with the nation itself coming to grips with its greatest shame, with its greatest trauma. And all, you know, nations have issues, just right. like all people have issues. Sure. Um, and the Pluto return of the United States is has been, because we've been in it for a few years, a time where tensions have come to the surface and major issues have been, um, we've all need to be grappling with them. Now, Pluto has kind of moved into Aquarius uh, and, and moved out of the exactitude of Pluto return, and it's going to stay out of exactitude, except Pluto moves back into Capricorn for three months, and it won't return to Capricorn for another 250 years, but it will return to Capricorn for three months, and those three months happen to be the election. Yeah. And so, you know, I think all astrologers, certainly I am expecting... Um, a lot of tension this yeah. election. And I, I don't think you need to be an astrologer right. to expect to figure that, that out, right? right? Yeah. yeah. A lot <laughs> it's pretty of tension. obvious. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of tension. And the uh, chart for the election in 2024 is pretty dramatic. Um, and so I expect that, to say the least, the passions of the populace have been engaged. Yeah. And what will happen as a result of that, you know, is maybe for a much longer conversation another time. But but the the thing that I think is the most important is that people are feeling really intensely. Yeah. Sure. And our systems are either going to change or they're going to change. Yeah. It's kind of like either one way. way. For another, yeah. we're changing in a meaningful way. Yeah. So it's important to all Americans. Jessica, you're the best. We want to tell everyone the book again is titled Astrology for Real Relationships. Jessica Lanyato, you are awesome. Thank you so much. You're awesome. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. You bet. All right, we'll be right back with more AM Northwest. Don't go away.